Hello, I'm Tess Downing, founder of Complete View Financial, and welcome to this month's video blog. Happy New Year, and thank you for joining me today. Today, I would like to take a few minutes to recap the markets of 2020, share some market insights, as well as think ahead to what we might expect in 2021. This first chart that you're looking at shows world stock market performance throughout 2020 and some of the major events that took place. 2020 proved to be one of the most difficult in modern history, marked by a number of developments that were historically unprecedented. But the year also demonstrated the resilience of people and institutions and even financial markets. The coronavirus was already in the news in the early new year, and as concerns grew, more countries began reporting their first cases of COVID-19. Infections multiplied around the world through February, and by early March, when the outbreak was labeled a pandemic, it was clear that the crisis would affect nearly every area of our lives. March saw the S&P 500 index's decline reach 33.79% from the previous high as the pandemic worsened. This was followed by a rally in April and stocks reached their previous highs by August. On top of the health crisis, there was widespread civil unrest over the summer in the U.S., in August, Americans increasingly focused on the U.S. presidential race, and in the end, the results of the election would be disputed well into December. As autumn turned to winter, 2020 would end with both troubling and hopeful news, yet another spike in COVID-19 cases, along with the first deliveries of vaccines in the U.S. and elsewhere. This next chart shows you the performance of major indices in 2020. The U.S. market finished the year in record territory and with an 18.4% annual return for the S&P 500, the Russell 3000 returned 20.88%, and non-U.S. developed markets or international markets returned 8.39%, and emerging markets was a big outperformer, returning almost 18.5% for the year. On the fixed income side, we saw that the U.S. Barclays Ag returning 7.75%, while the Bloomberg Barclays Global Ag returning 5.58%. This next chart that you're looking at shows the returns of 2020, but as well as cumulative returns over a five and 10 year period, helping us remember that 2020 was just one year and to take a long-term approach. So what did we learn from 2020? Many questions remain about the pandemic, new vaccines, business activity, changes in how people work and socialize, and the direction of global markets. Yet 2020's economic and market demonstrated that markets continue to function and that people can adapt to difficult circumstances. This year's positive equity and fixed income returns remind us of the solid investment approach in a long-term strategy and staying the course, investors can focus on building long-term wealth, even in some of the most challenging times. I would like to thank you for listening in today, as well as like to thank you for a great 2020. I count it a privilege to do what I do, and that wonderful people like you trust me to help you along your financial journey. So here's to a wonderful 2021. Thanks for listening in.